Hey guys, it's George, and I'm going to go over the great features of George's monthly budget spreadsheet, version 10. Currently, I'm in the personal finance dashboard, and here you're going to get some great charts to help you visualize your income and expenses. And at the bottom here is a cumulative chart, so you can get running totals for the entire year. I'm going to scroll back up to the top here, and this top right chart here allows you to compare budget versus actual. If you click the button right here, you can select any category that you want to compare to budget amounts. And you can also compare total income, total expenses, and net amount to the budgets. Go ahead and close that out. So this dashboard information is automatically generated for you based on the information that you put into the individual months. So let's go ahead and check out December here. And in the registers here is where you enter your individual income and expenses. You can also split transactions into different categories. And here's an example of a purchase at Walmart that was split into two different categories, groceries and clothing. And you can also split income categories. So here's an example of a paycheck that was split into both salary and bonus categories. You can use these filter arrows here in each of the columns to filter the data. Up top here, you get summary data for total income, total expenses and net amount. Another thing I want to mention about these registers is that they are for tracking your income and expenses. They are not account registers for tracking credit card or checking accounts. I have separate checkbook software. If you're interested on my website, that you can learn more about that. You can assign each transaction to a custom category that you create. And to do that, you just click right up here. And here's where you enter your own custom categories and set a monthly budget for each of them. And the budget that you set for a particular category can vary from month to month. Let's go back to the dashboard summary and next I'm going to click over here 12 registers combined and this master register automatically combines all of the transactions from the individual 12 months into one register. So you can easily search for and filter transactions for an entire year. Let's go ahead to the custom pivot table reports. Click right up here. And here's where you can create some amazing reports and charts to help summarize your data. Currently I have a report for income versus expenses based on categories. And what's cool here is you can drill down further into each of these categories. For example, groceries, we could see the different stores where we spent our money at and the amounts broken down by each month. I'm gonna go ahead and close that. Up top here, you can filter by different time periods or groups of time periods. You can change that from months, days, and even quarters. So if you just want to look at a particular quarter, you could do that also. To clear it, just click right up here. You can just focus in on income or expenses or both income and expenses. Over here, if you just want to focus on particular categories, you can filter them and just look at those. In this last slicer here, if you just want to look at a particular business or group of businesses, you can click on that and just focus in on those particular businesses. I'm going to go ahead and clear that. So this is a great report to help summarize your data. If you click right up here, there's a second pivot table report. This particular one I have set up with a chart so you can focus in on just a particular month. The chart and the data instantly update. I'm going to go ahead and select all months. You can focus in on just income, expenses, or just particular categories. So let's go ahead and clear that. So this is a great way to help visualize your data. Let's go back to the account summary. There's a couple more reports that I'd like to show you. Let's click right up here. And this report compares actual amounts to budgeted amounts. You can select different months. And there's also a yearly actual versus budget. So you can see totals for the entire year. So let's go back to the dashboard summary. And there's one last thing I want to mention over here. You're going to click set year. And here's where you enter the particular year that you would like to track. So that's a quick overview of a simple spreadsheet to help you keep track of your personal finances.